room know how to play cribbage? Raise your hand. Anybody? No? Oh, yes, you're all over here. <laughs> so cribbage is one of my favorite games in the entire world. And like, I'm just going to geek out for two minutes because I created a poetry format based on the rules of cribbage. So this is just for you right now. So this poem is like made up of couplets with six words in each one for a deck of hands, and then two words from each of those lines are taken to make the crib, and then one word is added on the end for a sentence. So I'm going to read that poem. <laughs> the poem is not about cribbage, but I'm just like really excited about that. <laughs> How can it not be about cribbage? <laughs> it's easy to be half a world away in a place where everything is foreign. You're not meant to belong, and it feels so safe. Locals look at you the same way your father does, avoid you the same way as your mother. But it's a comfort to not pine for their attention. You ride the subway, hear the drone of unfamiliar language. When the world is all white noise, you can always fall asleep will not toss and turn in the dark as you battle over whether to split wrists into a blank canvas or breathe a hurricane of exquisite disaster. Fuck like people are shadows or kiss to prove tangibility. We are an illusion of permanence to everyone we love. Tattoo your skin infinite. After you return home, walk backwards along the street. Don't unravel into what feels familiar or forget tomorrow. Wind yourself open. Be in a place you're not meant to belong. Avoid the safe way. Comfort your mother as you pine for the white noise of language and turn the dark over into a canvas. People are a hurricane. Tattoo an illusion of your infinite home. Walk into yourself. Don't forget. Not everyone will cry, but all will break softly, fading into today.